Hi, this is Michael Carvajal, and you're watching True School Sports. Take care. Good job. Okay. Um, uh, Manny Pacquiao versus Keith Thurman. How, 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 what, what do you think about that fight? You know, it's a big one coming up. Honestly, years ago, I would have told you Manny Pacquiao for sure. I know what they're thinking because of the Keith Thurman fight, the last fight, they're thinking, well, yeah, exactly. But Keith Thurman was out for two years. The Keith Thurman that fought Danny Garcia was just state of the outside, boxing, didn't take any chances. I don't see how the Manny Pacquiao today beats that guy. You know, you understand what I'm saying? Yeah. Because his range was so perfect. I mean, he didn't, he didn't let Danny Garcia get close enough to do anything, you know? And even though there's a lot of fans who go, oh, that's that was a terrible fight. We didn't like the fact that there wasn't a whole lot of engagement. Yeah, he did what he had to do. Fans say that I get it, but fans are kind of bloodthirsty too. Yeah, it's fans true. don't realize that the promoter, nor the manager, nor the fans send an extra check to the guy who loses <laughs> because he went out there trying to please you. Yeah, you know, in the entertainment side. They're not paying his medical bills. He gets hurt either. Right. Give Manny Pacquiao. If Keith Thurman doesn't have a good point, Manny Pacquiao wins. Manny Pacquiao, as we all know, is jab, jab, left hand. Jab, jab, left hand. And even though he used to have a, a good right hook, that right hook is not the same anymore. I'll say this. If he wins, beats Keith Thurman, right into the sunset. That would be a great win for him. He's already a Hall of Famer, but you might you could just take him to get the picture now because they're gonna put him in there later. Yeah, yeah. You know, and go home and lead your people, be a senator or whatever. I, I like Manny Pacquiao. I don't want him to leave the game in a bad way. I don't like any fighter that that I feel like was likable, like you know, really to leave the game in a bad way. Yeah. Or an all-time great, like yeah. And I just feel like if you can get past Keith Thurman. Let's leave it at that. It's a great way to go out. Let's, that's a great way to go out. Keith Thurman is a legit, obviously legit fighter. Undefeated. Legit, you know, yeah, legit was champ, you know. And leave it alone. Let the young bucks go at it now. Let the Earl Spencer in the world, you know, battle it out. And, you know, people say, well, how come man? Why would he fight Earl Spencer? Somebody tell me. Why, why would that make... I, I, I know what you're going to say. Everybody's going to say, for the money. Yeah. All right, but come on. What are the what are the odds that he can do something you know that is of that sort of competitive nature? I think sometimes people have to look at that too, because you can put two names in the ring, but if nothing happens in that fight, then everybody blew their money and it went away. Everybody's mad. Yeah. The Floyd Mayweather Pacquiao fight was marinated way too long. Oh, it was horrible too. So it was bad. marinated way too long. It would have I'm not saying that Manny Pacquiao would be going back. What I'm saying is it would have been more competitive had he been five years ago. Yeah. You know, they would have been more more bounced to his step and everything. That said, Floyd Mayweather, one of the greatest of all time, did what he had to do and defuse the fight. And how many people put into that fight? And how entertaining was it? How many how many thousands were these tickets? And how many people spend money all over the sponsors and everything? Pay per view is hundred bucks. Well, know? that's what I'm getting at. That that doesn't make it for a good fight. Yeah. You know, so that doesn't necessarily make for a good fight. Yeah. Okay. So I just hope he kind of does what he has to do for that and just rides it out and, and rides it out and you know does politics or whatever he wants to do. Maybe maybe he doesn't need politics. It's kind of sad too when you see a fighter that you know there's all kinds of rumors and they say well oh he needs to because somebody I don't know how much truth it is somebody that pays taxes, taxes somebody yeah. do. or in Manny Pacquiao's case he's famously generous to his people that's great I just hope that Manny Pacquiao remembers that he risked his life for 20 some odd years he needs to save some for himself and his family absolutely you know yes, hopefully hopefully he does do that. Let's go, champ! It's the champ, Shannon and Cannon Briggs, and you're watching True School Sports. Let's go, champ!